Hello and welcome to True Audio with Johnny Truesdale. This is episode 16, Track Types and Pro Tools. So this week's episode, we're going to define the different track types in Pro Tools and know it's not by color. So without further ado, here's episode 16. All right, so here we are in Pro Tools and I made a session and I made a couple tracks here and it's one of each track that exists inside Pro Tools. So the first track and the one that you deal with in Pro Tools the most is the audio track. Now how do you know it's an audio track? You know it's an audio track because right here there's a symbol you can see right here that looks like an audio wave file or AIF file or whatever on on in your edit window. Um, these are the default colors for all of these by the way but like I said colors don't necessarily mean anything so this is this is how you can identify it as an audio track right here I realize that it's labeled audio but I haven't relabeled it yet this right here our second kind of track is an auxiliary track an auxiliary input track and it's indicated by this down arrow right here and what what this does is this accepts inputs from an internal or external IO that will play back it cannot be recorded you have to send it back out to an audio track to record it but it's like an extra input into Pro Tools that will play back where you want it to or it will send to where you want it to if you send it back out again the third track I have right here is an instrument track or a virtual instrument track. And this is indicated by this little piano looking keyboard down here since most virtual instruments are done using MIDI controllers with piano keyboards. They put that symbol right here. You put a plug in, a virtual instrument plug in on the insert and that's how you make this work. Our next track that we have here is a MIDI track and it's represented by this symbol right here which is essentially the uh, MIDI connector uh, the old school MIDI connector I realize that many things are connected nowadays by USB but this is the old school MIDI connector right here we have a master track and it is represented by this Greek symbol Sigma and why why use the Greek sing, uh, symbol Sigma is it represents summing so a master track is meant meant the sum of the output of whatever it is a master track could easily be called an output track as well as it does not have an input at all and the last track that I'm going to talk about here is a VCA track and unless you have Pro Tools HD you don't have this track but basically what this does is it takes any of your groups down here and controls them with that fader you can make a group for as many tracks or as little tracks as you want here and it will control all of those and move all those faders with this one fader I also want to take a look real quick at the edit window so you could see that the instrument track and the MIDI track are on piano roll here. Uh, another note about the MIDI track is that MIDI track could be sent to an instrument track and it could also be sent to an external device as well. As well. So that's all I got for this week. I hope that helps you understand what kind of tracks you're dealing with in Pro, Pro Tools and how to figure out which ones are which. So until next week, that's all I got.